Welcome to episode number three of the New Orleans Saints Madden 22 Fan Share Franchise Series. And today, I'm still playing my New Orleans Saints Fan Share Franchise Series, obviously. I'm about to play, Saints, I'm about to play the Saints Week 9 game against the Fountains at home. We're 7 0. They're 2 and 5. And you're wondering why, well, you're saying, why am I filming a game against the Fountains who are 2 and 5? And in last place, well, we're 7 0. And in first place, well, because I already chose, I already said I was on film. I always film five at five weeks in the regular season, which is five games. It was week one, week five, week nine, week thirteen, and week eighteen. I was already predetermined. Um, last episode was week five, and it's the football team, the Washington football team. Um, if you haven't seen that episode yet, it would be an iron sky and a type brand corner right up here. It should be an icon that pops up at the beginning of the video. As they do have Amari Cooper. That's their top performer. Remember, the finish of our franchise. He has 33 receptions, 400, or 427 yards, three touchdowns through seven games. Um, they have a 70 on offense. They have, the Fountains have a 70 on offense and 87 defense, and they are 80 and they are, and they are an 82 overall. We have an 83 offense, an 85 defense, and it, and we are an 83 overall. So we are a plus four for offense. They're a plus two for defense, and we're a plus one for overall. So we have a better offense. And they have a better defense. And the head, the goals from the head coach, or from the goals, there's one from the head coach, offensive coordinator, and defensive coordinator. From the coach, which is Dash C. Shout out Atlanta. Offensive coordinator, no more than six yards. Or no, more, right? Yeah. It says no more. No, I think it's more. This is one of those air, those. Like pies, where you do that. that. Then, uh, yeah. So, no, I believe that says that means more because if it's offensive, offensive corner, it wouldn't be less than six yards, right? yards per catch. Would it be? Probably says no, less than six yards per catch. I guess I don't know. And then, it, and then it says allow some less than four yards per carry. I think that's for defensive. That's what it, the defensive corner, defensive coordinator wants. I'm not sure, but um. That aside, let's look at the schedule real quick before, uh, sorry about that glitch, it's just, this, the HDMI port here on this TV is old, because the TV is old, so we should be getting a new TV, maybe by Christmas, hopefully sooner than later, didn't see in week one, which was two episodes there, we beat the Patters 45-12, which is kind of what happened in real life, where the Saints in real life beat them up 38-3, but now we have, Patters in real life have, have won seven straight, including them beating the Cardinals 27-24 on Thursday. And then, uh, so you didn't see in week five, we beat the football team 31-28 on a game winning field goal. So I was fired. Uh, and you didn't see that we beat, we beat the Seahawks 23-14 and then beat the Buccaneers 41-28. And they're in second place. They're sits in two. So we're, what, Damon F up on them? Because they already, we already had our bye. They haven't yet. And then you didn't see next episode, and next episode of the series will be the Saints week 13 game against the Cowboys at home. And it's on Thursday Night Football. And the week before, for the Bills... Uh, also on Thursday at 8:20 p.m. Eastern, but this week 12 day, which is on, it's not on, not in that episode, it will be off camera. This thing will be off camera. This thing that's on Thanksgiving. I did not know that until yesterday. I did not know that um, that the Bills at uh, the Bills at Saints game is actually the third and final game on Thanksgiving because obviously the Lions always play at home and the Cowboys always play at home during the day and then like what. Well, Ten years ago, or five years ago, well, it wasn't five years ago, but like, it was like ten years ago or something like that. They introduced that third game, the night game, and it doesn't matter who it is. And this year, it's the Bills at Saints. Oh, uh, I'm not. This game will be off camera though. Like I said, this episode of the series will be um, the Saints Week 13 game, or the, and like I said, this episode of the series will be the Saints Week 13 game against the Cowboys at home, and it's on Thursday Night Football. So the day, obviously. It's a fantasy of franchise. No, they don't have press style. I'm not sure who the quarterback is for the Falcons. Uh, I guess I should look, look, I guess. Let's just do, uh, roster. Just real quick, real quick. Uh, I just don't depth chart. It doesn't really care. Real quick before we get into the game. I know I haven't, I know I haven't been posting a lot of videos on this channel. Recently I've just been busy with schoolwork and other stuff. Um, so we have, um, Patrick Mahomes, who just got hurt. He's back now. He only missed uh, last week, which was week eight against the Buccaneers. So, Tayron Ta Taylor is our, is our backup, and our third quarterback is Trey Smith-Sorley. Yeah, our backup is uh, T 
Tyron Taylor, Tyron Taylor is, I mean, he's been in the league for 10 years and he's from Virginia Tech. Uh, so Mahomes has been in the league for four years and he's from Texas Tech. And also has Bazooka, which adds, I think, like, t what, 10 or, I think it's 10 yards to your throw or 15 yards, something like that. But he was injured with, I forgot what he was injured with last week. It was just for one week, which was last week, week eight. So Tyron Taylor, Tyron Taylor, to saying his name right, Tyron Taylor had to come in for Mahomes. And, well, obviously we won 41-28. Uh, so let's go to the foul. Falcons. Their quarterback is J uh, Justin Herbert. And also have Gardner Minshew the second and Devil Hodges. But uh, I mean Herbert, 80 overall. Despite his overall is going down, his overall is going. He's an 80 overall, but his overall is going down. But along with a few other stats, but obviously, set an ear out of Oregon, sits sits, 236, number 10, as he's quarterback for the Falcons. Obviously, also has Amari Cooper along with, I'm not sure who else, but so we'll find out when, when we get into the game. Um, right now, you can see a return of injury in Mahomes, and yeah, let's get into the game right now. Six minute quarters, four six minute quarters, four six minute quarters. Um, see, I just said we're in 83 overall, they're in 82. Uh, Cooper, Amari Cooper has racked him up. That's Darius Smith. In real life, he's a Packer, but in real life, uh, he's a Packer still, but he's on IR, so he's been played since week one. We have Mahomes, who has Bazooka, Julio Jones, who has Double Me, and Leontay Davis, or David, uh, who's our middle linebacker, has Run Stuffer. And they also have Zedarius Smith, who doesn't have an X bat there. Cooper has racked him up, and then Penn Eels. Suli is at right tackle. So, yeah. Play John Hansel in the game right now. Sorry that Lutz is just like I said, the TV old. The TV's old, so the HDMI port's old. But Cooper and Jones both have three touchdowns. We have Devin McCourty, too. They also have Justin Simmons. We have Devin McCourty and Jason McCourty, who are brothers. C.J. Mosley, have Marcus Peters. We have uh, Tyle Fuller, who has three interceptions. We're seven and zero. They're two and five. Let's get into it. Uh, let's watch the prediction. Alan Roach, and our running back is Raheem Mostert, by the way. And we also have a uh, Le'Veon Bell too. Oh, it's all, I forgot. It's all around. We were we had the first overall pick in the draft. That's why I got Mahomes, and I forgot this 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 is week nine week nine or no week nine yeah week we did it. Isn't it week not oh either way he said it was Halloween you see Raheem most there two. Two touchdowns last week, 17 carries, 117 yards, two touchdowns, like I said. Um, so that's a good one. We also have Le'Veon Bell. There's Mahomes. I'm not sure he's going to hit the ball first. Um, and it looks like uh, they would hit the ball first, which is completely fine because I, I'd rather have a. Um, we did the ball start the second half, so we did double dip, scored then in the first half, scored the start of the second half. Our kicker is Justin Tucker, who obviously had that 60 60 yard field goal. It's time to fire against the Lions. What? Week like three or four, I forgot, and that will be needed in the end zone. Yeah, it's week nine, but it's week eight in real life, and week eight is on Halloween. Week nine is not, so that's a glitch. So I was wondering, wait, it's week nine, which is technically this week, which is on Halloween, uh, is week eight, not week nine. Although it's set, although Alan Rhodes said it was Halloween, it's actually not. Week eight is Halloween. Um, not week nine. Here's a run, a big hole. Remember, the difficulty is on pro, which there's four difficulties here in Madden 22. So, rookie, pro, all pro, and all Madden. So, I'm going to set an easiest difficulty. Um, but, yeah, that's a 13-yard like run right there. 
So yeah, in real life, uh, Halloween's week eight, not week nine. Although Alan Rhodes said it was week nine, which this is week nine. Like I said, here's a stuff out that that is on it through there, and there's an injured uh, D. Uh, it looks like a tie. Uh, uh, well, it was a Falcons player, I believe it was a D. Noss. I think that's. I don't know. What the, here we go. And here's a throw caught by 85. Eight yards. Is that Richard Rodgers? I thought I just heard him say Rodgers. Well, third and one. Third and one from the 47. They're on 47 yard line. Here we go. Third and one. They're passing it. Here we go. Pressure! Pressure! And then we're sacked! Let's go! Terry Hyder, which I have no idea who that is. I don't. I don't remember picking him, but it's a. A uh, loss of 10 on the sack, 4th and 11 here against the punt team. It wasn't a 3 and out, but here we go. And here's a punt as we did the ball first. And that will be returned from what, the 22 yard line by Antonio Brown. Yes, we have, also have Antonio Brown. That's, well, like a 8 yard return as we start our first drive of the day at, their, at our own 30 yard line here against Mahomes and the New Orleans offense. Here we go. Here we are. The throw and bust it right by number nine. That's into Antonio Brown. 24 yards of Mahomes first throw. First down, Saints. So a 26 duo from their 46 yard line. It's right up the dot. Here's Moster. Moster, obviously, like I said, two touchdowns and 117 yards last week. Like I said, 17 rushes, 117 yards, and two touchdowns. On the year, he has 10 touchdowns. Pretty good through um, seven games. So I'm saying, I realize that it's week eight, so next week is week nine. So we're almost we're just uh, well, a week ahead of real life. Here's a throw, and it's caught by Jones! And he's down to the 19. Mahomes is two for two, 46 yards, first down. New Orleans, 10 yards right after the catch, and obviously here in week nine, Packers, who are three and five, play the four and four Chiefs. Obviously, Packers don't have. Rodgers and the Chiefs don't have Mahomes. Uh, the Packers, who we played in Week One, beat them 45-12. They have Jalen Hurts. I'm not sure who the, who the Chiefs have. But obviously, they don't have Patrick Mahomes. Throw and it's caught at the five by by uh, Antonio Brown. There's an injured Saint. It's one of our offensive linemen. So he's a, it was an offensive lineman. As he's mad. He's still on the sideline. So he's still on the sideline. At least it wasn't one of our like receivers or something or Mahomes. Pittsburgh sits in one, Jotano sits in two. Ooh. It's a Monday Night Football game here, week nine, which is uh, we're a week behind or a week ahead of real life, and it looks like most of got tripped by maybe his own teammate. Uh, center and goal from the two. Let's throw a dander. Going even for Atlanta. We have Brown, Jones, Gronkowski. We also have Gronkowski and Kyle Juszczyk. And we have Mostert on this route. Here we go. And let's throw. I was going to throw it to Gronk, but he was hit as he threw in to play. Bruised ribs for that die. Ranger is Kyle. Just, our backup is a 90, and the die that got hurt is a 73. So, yeah, put her in our backup. Let's do a half bat dive. Third and goal from the two. The pen. Hopefully, we can. If we can't, I might consider going for it here. Here we go. Up the down. Mosters in. Touchdown, New Orleans. As we strike first. Let's go. And the goal this year was the most of 10 rushing touchdowns. Well, he already had 10. Now he has 11. And here's Tucker. Our, and by the way, our, the holder here is a batter quarterback. Obviously, Tyrod, Tyrod Taylor. Our kicker is Justin Tucker, like I said. And our punter is Johnny Hector. Here we go. And that's your point by Tucker. One of the best kickers in the NFL is right down the middle. 7 up in New Orleans. As he drove 68 yards in 2 minutes and 25 seconds. Wasn't it 70 yards? Didn't we start from the 30? I don't know. Here we go. Here's a tip by Tucker. 7 up in New Orleans as Atlanta would hit the ball for the second drive. Carolina and New England, by the way, well, they're struggles in the first quarter, and they're both 4-4. Four and four. Touchback as the uh, Falcons will start their second drive at their own 25-yard line. I almost said the Braves, because obviously, because obviously, the Braves are in the World Series. Up two games to one. Game four is two nights. And also tonight, I know they're the Stars game. Here we go. And uh, here's a run by 27. 
Uh, that's Dobbins. I've heard the name. I didn't realize if he's on the Ravens, but I think he tore his ACL during the preseason or something. With speed and torn ACLs, Robert Tony and the Patters tight end, first turn tight end, tore his ACL in the Cardinals game on Thursday. But he did win 24-21 then, so uh, still does with his interception in the end zone. With 12 seconds to play, here's a run! And Dobbins is stuffed, there's a flag down. And it's holding on the offense. So we did. We set it in 13 or a third and three. That's just a set it in 13. If it was, if, if I had a if it was third down right there, I would have, and he didn't get the first down, I would have declined it. But if he didn't, I'm just bad. I'm setting it in 13 from the 22. Minute the down in the first door. Here's uh, Herber and Herber is set again by David. Third and 24 from their own 11. It's Herbert's. Is well, he has plenty of times. Can't find anyone open. That's his first sack of the year for David. Here we go. Here's a throw. It's caught, but he's well short of the first down. Herbert Super to 16 yards, fourth and 16 from the 19. He gained eight, but he needed a lot more than eight. And there's a punt, sending punt for um, the Falcons punter. He doesn't have to punt it. Doesn't have to, but he does. As there's six minutes to go here in the first quarter. And it's returned by A.B. from the 35, and it's two yards. Three cents an hour in the corner as we have one more play. So we have a touchdown on our first drive. Fountains have two punts. Here we go. Here's Mahomes. Last play of the quarter. Mahomes rolling out right. We'll throw it, and it's caught by Jones. First down. Seven up in New Orleans after one quarter here at the Superdome. Which I believe it's the Louisiana Superdome or whatever. Why not? Let's do a fullback dive with Kyle Juszczyk, who was on the Niners, 49ers, when they played the Chiefs in Super Bowl 54, but lost, what, 24-20 or 31? I think it was 31-20, wasn't it? Ah, uh, he hits two yards. Yeah, what? Because I think it was 20-10 New uh, 49ers, and then I think what, the, then the Chiefs got three touchdowns. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Bootleg. And one-on-one -on -one coverage! That is A.B. And he's got it out of bounds! Oh, he had it, but he landed out of bounds, sending down it, or third down and eight. Third down and it. Oh, yeah, full bat dive from the 44. And then a half bat toss here. And, uh-oh, crap. And then got completely blown up. He lost a lot of yards. Now he has four inches, one yard, and one touchdown. And we have to punt. As he lost seven yards. And here comes, uh... Johnny Hector, no win, obviously, but he's running south, trying to pin him deep, trying to pin, taking it to the left here, or punting it, trying to pin him deep. Here we go, as the Fountains get the stop, I don't know, and now, well, it's a fair catch by number four at their own 12-yard line, so he pinned him inside their own 15, as the Fountains will take over, down 7 nothing. as the first drive resulted in punts for us, our first drive resulted in a touchdown, second drive resulted in a, well, a punt, here's another run, and uh, he did four. It's four is 25 yards. Set in sets. There is four fifteen the dollar in the first half. Remember, we did ball for half time. Here we go. And here we go. All day and he finally finds somebody, but he didn't then after it. I believe that is Richard Rogers, because I thought I heard him say Rogers earlier, and I thought it said at the top R Rogers, which is Richard Rogers. I thought he retired, right? It's not maybe. Third and six, and there's a throw, and it's caught first down in Atlanta. It's not their first first down. They had one on their first drive, I think. Here we go, and it's kind of like an end around, and he kind of got a shoestring tackle. It's Renfro, three yards. Jet sweep. Here we go. Here's Herbert. Quick throw caught. Here's Amari Cooper's first catch, I believe. First down, uh, Atlanta as they're to their own 45 yard line. 245 they dollar in the half. Here we go, and it's a run, and he's blown up. And he did get back to the line of scrimmage, sending down in 10. I did a safety or a strong safety blitz there, I believe. 215 the Dell. First half's going quick. 
Here we go. And there's a throw wide open to that guy, but he's short of the first down. As to our he's at, to our 39 yard or to our 49 yard line, third and three, two minute warning, seven nothing Saints. Seven nothing Saints. Uh, third and three from the, from our 49. Here we go. As a quick throw and it's dropped. He had it, but he dropped it fourth down. Are they don't go for it. They're not on field orange. They also might punt it. Let's say they're gonna punt it, but also now watch the fate. Fourth and three from the R49. Third punt for their punter in as many drives. And it's angled towards the right, and that will go out of bounds at our own 28 yard line. So he did not really pin us deep. Is what I does. Uh, I don't know how long, though. I don't know how long. Probably was, it wasn't that. thought it was going to pin us deeper. He did get it out of bounds. Pun it, it out of bounds, but it was not even close. Here we go. Here's a throw in. It was a tight window. But it was caught by Gronkowski. He owns 5 or 7, 94 yards. And there's a minute and a half to go here in the half. 7 up in the rounds. We have the ball now. And we have the ball for half time. Here we go. Let's try a double dip here. Here's a throw caught by A.B. And in two plays, we're already there 35. At that stretch now. Got to the outside. Here's Moster. First down and more. And, and Zadarius Smith is hurt. Zadarius Smith is hurt. And because, and because there's under two minutes to go in the half, Atlanta's charged with, charged with their first time out of the half. So they're, they're not. They're without their, what? I don't, well, not, he's not a middle linebacker, but he's, they're, out, they're without uh, one of their linebackers. Shut down to the end zone, picked off! My number 31 brought it out of the end zone, and... Intercepted by Justin Simmons. He brings it out to the 10-yard line. 54 seconds to go. I don't know why I threw that. I threw it. I, I threw it off my back. I threw it. What? Running the other way. And here's a throw. Picked off. Let's go get up. And he did stop. And he's tackled by Urban at the three. That's Jason McCarty. He stayed up with a pitch stance. But now it's first and goal. For New Orleans, for the Saints offense at the three yard line. As both teams throw an interception, both corners throw an interception on back to back plays. Here's this half pitch, got the outside, Moster's in touchdown. What a turn, what a turn of events. Moster's second of the game, 13 up in New Orleans. So Mahomes throws an interception, then the first, and then the next play, uh, Herbert throws an interception, and then the next play after that, Moster runs it in for a three yard touchdown. A uh, three-yard rushing touchdown, 14 up in New Orleans, 40 bucks in it to dollar and a half. And there's the kick, and that will be probably a touchback as it's field of like nine yards deep. Actually, his back foot was on the inline touchback. Two timeouts, 45 seconds, 14 up in New Orleans, and New Orleans at the ball for halftime. Here we go, here's a throw! Uh, it was inaccurate, send it down. Here we go, and here's a throw, it's caught! That is Richard Rodgers, and he gets five yards, third and five down out of bounds, 38 seconds to play. Here we go, third and five, throw, and it's caught. Timeout number two used by Atlanta. First, uh, they were charged with their first timeout because that uh, Zedaria Smith injury. They have one left at their own 42 yard line, 34 seconds to play. Let them at least get something here. Because obviously, with the ball after half time, we're already up 14 0. Throw, it's caught, but he's inbounds and only got three yards. And have to hurry it up here, or they hurry up and waste like 10 seconds, and then, and then they call their final timeout. The probably still need 30 yards in the field goal range and they have no timeouts now and only 20 seconds. Well, they're, at, they're on 45 yards, so if they didn't one like 20 yard play, they might be in field goal range. Here we go. 20 seconds to play, though, so they have to hurry up and spike it. If it's in play, throw, and it's caught, turn around! And now they're, they're not hurrying up here. It's 10 seconds and they have no timeouts. It's talent and bounce, 
And that is the half as a field unit was out there, but time ran out. Pro proper or they didn't have proper well, management. Field or field unit was out there, but time ran out before they could snap it. 14 F and New Orleans at halftime, as, as, and we also bought for halftime. Let's in, let's listen in John touch. Let's listen in the John the Touchman and the EA Sports halftime report, Coach. Right now, starting second half, 14 up in New Orleans, and New, and New Orleans hit the ball, and, and New Orleans, New Orleans up 14 up, and else the ball, uh, um, and else the ball, and else the ball shuts in half. It's returned from about two yards deep, and here he goes, and he's not down at the 27 yard line. Three seconds into the third quarter. So the half that toss there, then or the last time, but who knows? We did some. Need to, we need some to block in a lot of space here, and we did. We did a lot more than what netted of seven yards. We did like twenty. We that's a lot of yards. That so that was like thirty yards. Because we're already there, forty-four yard line. So from what the first time I did it, we lost seven yards. This time we gained what like forty yards or well thirty yards. Here we go. Here's a pass now. A lot of time. Good job on the offensive line. It's caught by Jones. Breaks the tackle. And he rolls down to the 14. So in two plays, we go for our 27 and their 14. First down, New Orleans. And the Mahomes interception, I threw it. He was running, like, he basically threw it on the run. It wasn't off his back foot, but he threw it on the run. That's how I threw that interception. Here we go. Uh, throw it. Clunk. What a catch. Down in the one. First and all. Here we go. And runs away from everyone. Throws it to Clunt and he's got it. Touchdown, New Orleans, as he spites it. Fourth touchdown of the year. First passing touchdown of the name for Mahomes, who's most there has the two. Uh, two rushing touchdowns. Mahomes is one passing touchdown, and it's now 21 nothing New Orleans. 4:22 they go in the third quarter. Sorry about the flickering. But yeah, 4:22 they go in the third quarter. 21 nothing New Orleans. With uh, like I said, 4:22 they go in the third quarter. And that will be another touchback. And, and talking about the glitches on the TV, like I said, the TV is old, the HDMI port's old, and if the if the TV is cut off and or the camera's crooked, I'll try to fix it as soon as I can. Uh, the reason why it, the TV should be cut off and or if the camera's it's crooked is because when the screen the TV moves, the screen the camera moves. So like I said, the TV is cut off and or if the camera's crooked, I'll try to fix it. And as soon as soon as I can, I dove and missed the die. But he's made so many moves, he only died nine yards. There we go, and it's a fake like pitch. He gets it to his back, and he's got the first down. So obviously they're still down 21 nothing. There's only a quarter and a half to play. Here we go. There's a throw, and it's caught. And I tried. Thought I was on a user the guy that he was that that he was, who was covering the time and said I used me. Uh, the guy on the right, that's why I dove miserably right there. Seven inches from their own 48 yard line. 245 they do on the third quarter. 21 nothing New Orleans. Let's play action! And it's caught by 13. So I'm not sure who that is, but either way, it's first down. 
Herbert 11 for, 15, 11 for 15. I'm not sure how many passing yards it said, but he has that one interception. Mahomes is a touchdown and an interception. Here we go. Uh, he's going to run it this time, and he's blown up. Tanda for loss. Sending down an 11. Here we go, and it's another run, and he's blown up by three guys. And he lost two yards, third and 13 from the 40. And then it'll be like a 58 yard field over here, and either way, uh, I'm not sure they're kickers, and either way, when you're down 21 nothing, you're probably not kicking a field goal here. Here we go, well, m maybe the pens. Here's a throw, and it's wide open, not wide open, but open is Cooper, and he's got the first down. 22 yards on third and 13. Darn it. But there's under a minute to play in the third quarter. Remember, it's only six minute quarters, and the Founders are still on 21 0, and four drives for the Saints, one interception, three touchdowns. So, really, and they haven't been able to stop us. But who knows? Here's a run, and he's down to the 14. But also, there's only 30 seconds to play in the third quarter, and there's only six, there's only six and a half minutes to go in this game. So, kind of running out of time here. Eight minutes are down in the quarter, possibly probably the last play of the quarter. Uh, even if they or if they even run a play, which they do, it's a run off the dot, and he's down to the nine. First down, yeah, th or actually third and inches. We ended the fourth quarter with the Saints up 21-0. As we got seven points in the first quarter, second quarter, and the third quarter. Started the fourth quarter now. Uh, third and inches from the Saints nine for the Falcons. Here we go. There's three and three, uh, three, uh, three of six on third down diversions, or the, uh, the founders are thir three for six on third downs. Now four for seven, first and goal from the five. But there's remember, there's only five and a half minutes to play in the game, and they're still down by three touchdowns. Here we go. And there's a throw, caught at the one, and he's tackled. Actually, it was tackled at the three. Taken away season. Ranked, uh, season rank, season ranking for t uh, takeaways for this defense is um, one, and the takeaways today is one. So we're best in, I guess, just there. And here we go. And here's a run up the gun, and it's blown up by me. The Dallas user and Kyle Fuller, which is one of our cornerbacks, is down. Third and goal from the two. Like I said, uh, our season ranking, our season rank basically is. Uh, and Tato is uh, one, so it's first, or it is first, it said, and then uh, Tato is today, and the same is one. Here we go. Third and goal, and it's another run up the gun, and he's in, untouched, touchdown, Atlanta, as they are on the board, so I won't be, so that goal by the head coach, which was dash, you see this, was the shot on Atlanta, that won't happen, as Ty Kyle Fuller has bruised ribs, our backup is, and it's Chris Harris Jr., let's put him in, they're both 88 overalls anyways, so let's put in, our bat up. Here we go. Extra point attempt. I'm trying to make it 21 7. And the extra point by number 16, whoever that is, is right down the middle. 21 17, or excuse me, 21 7, Saints. I almost said 21 17. But, uh, um, 20, oh, such up. Ryan, such up. I've heard the name. Um, and here's, uh, here's the tit. Tit off and return by number 24, about three yards deep in the end zone. 21 7, New Orleans. As long as that. Uh, has cut the Saints lead to 14 at 21-7 as they're finally on the board. 4.53 to go in the game. No one's that kicked or anything, obviously. Um, it's now 21-7 Saints as the Fountain just got on the just got on the board, and they have cut the Saints lead to 14 at 21-7. 4.53 to go in the game, though, and we're still up by two touchdowns. Here we go. We're deep throwing. We keep throwing. We're burning their secondary top by A.B. Or, excuse me, Julio Jones. I thought that was A.B. But that was Julio Jones' first down. We're burning their secondary, and the Broncos are burning the Cowboys 28 to 7. Here we go, and here's a half bat stretch, one blocker. Oh, I could have cut it inside, but also if I died outside, I probably was only like the first down. But uh, it was actually a tackle for loss. Let's do a half bat toss now. Let's keep the clock moving. Four minutes to go and counting. Both teams have all three towns plus a two minute order. It's a half bat toss, and this is not. Kind of what happened the first time when we lost seven yards and we lost 
two more yards, so loss of one now, loss of two. 340 to go. We're, we're throwing at third and 13, but there's only three and a half minutes to go in the game. But still up at two touchdowns. Let's try at the first down. We're burning their center there all game. Here we go. Here's Jones wide open. First down, New Orleans. And Mahomes is exactly 200 yards and 11 for 14, 200 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Three minutes to go. Here's Mahomes. Just make sure no dumb mistakes. And oh, they just. And he is sacked. He got no, was no game, but because it was wasn't a design running play or design quarterback running play, it is a sack. Although he did do that to the line of scrimmage, it was a sack. First sack of the game for the Falcons. There's 2:30 remaining now, and we're in field goal range. Well, outside, we're on the outer range of field goal range. Here we go. Plenty of time. Throw it the square wide open, and he stayed in bounds too. I'm hurrying up here just because I just want to. Uh, 2-0-3 remaining. Can we do one more play? Why not? Half bad gut. Moster. And he's still on his feet. Two minute warning. As it's down to the 7. 21 7, New Orleans. And we're going to run up the gut. And he goes right into a dime. It keeps his feet moving. Down to the 3 talent. Number one used by Atlanta, Bossy. We're in field goal range, and even a field goal made it a three-store game. And even if we don't do anything, still a two-store game. And the Fountain need like a Minneapolis miracle. Or they basically, yeah, they need, yeah, yeah. Third and inches from the three. We are passing here. Let's throw it the triangle. Moster out of the backfield. Got around number 34. Touchdown. As he got around the, I'm not sure if that was a forward pass or not. If it is a forward pass, it's a touchdown for a pass touchdown for Mahomes. If it's a backwards pass. It's a rushing touchdown for Moster, but either way, it's a touchdown for New Orleans, and the Saints lead 27 to 7. Minute 50 to go in the game. Uh, it's now 28 7 New Orleans, as he drove 75 yards in just over three minutes. So I've said it. Like I said, the Packers beat the Cardinals 27 24 on Thursday Night Football. Panthers are 6-1, and, and the Cardinals are 7-0, and, and we upset the Cardinals, because obviously we were short in it. Have, we have Devontae Adams, Alan Lazard, MBS. We didn't have a defensive corner. We didn't have our top two cornerbacks. We didn't have our Zadarius Smith. We didn't have Preston Smith. Here we go, 28-7 New Orleans. Minute 50 to go in the game. First attempt for Atlanta out there on the 25-yard line. Here's a quick throw, and it's intercepted! Missed immunitations, intercepted by 22, which I'm not sure who that is. It is uh, Harrison Smith, who hits the interception, first and 10 for New Orleans at the, at the Falcons 24-yard line. Set the interception of the game for Herbert, and set the interception for the Saints defense, who is apparently uh, they're ranked this season, or they are ranked first. The Saints defense is ranked, ranked first in, uh, uh, for takeaways this season, and clearly... They are, because it said it, and we have two takeaways today. Both interceptions, one by what? Jason McCory and the other one, which is half. So I just said we had two interceptions today in the Saints defense, which, like I said, ranked first in takeaways. Uh, first interception first interception was by Jason McCory, and the second interception, which just happened, was by Harrison Smith. We're passing it here, so why not? Here we go, and here we go. Let's throw it to the end zone, caught by A.B. Touchdown! And I believe he threw that on the run, too, but the other one I threw, there was a defender there, and obviously he jumped up and picked it off in the end zone. This one, there was, but I saw there was a little window, but he threw it right at him. He said to move up a little, but so caught it, and he caught it in the end zone. And it's now 34-7, 10 in the extra point. It's now 35-7, New Orleans. Minute 10 to go in the game. Seems good. Obviously, it's a fantasy franchise, and we obviously... Have what Mahomes? We have Mahomes, Antonio Brown. Which we have Ma Patrick Mahomes, Antonio Brown. I think we have T.Y. Hilton. I'm not, I'm not sure where he is, but we, like I said, we have Mahomes, Brown, uh, Gronkowski, Jones. Uh, 70 cents to go in the game, and that's the kid just keep going to that same spot. Touch bad again. 35-7, New Orleans.
Here we go. Here's a throw. It's caught by number 19, Cooper. First down. Hurry up. Or, I thought they were hurrying up for a second, but they're not. Obviously, because they're down by four touchdowns. Here we go. Jets are seven and one, by the way. The Jets are seven and one. The Colts are one and eight. But the Jets are seven and one. Obviously, this is a fan share franchise. If this was an actual franchise with the actual rosters, and land that calls a timeout for some reason, is that me? That wasn't me, was it? Okay, that was Atlanta. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, yeah, if this is the actual franchise, franchise with the actual rosters and the Jets are seven and one, I would be like, mad. But this is the fan share franchise. Obviously, they don't have. They don't have the actual roster. There's a catch by Cooper. He spun around the guy. And he's already, what the heck? He was, like, being, like, picked up. Or he was, like, being, or something like that by, like, two defenders. First and ten to call their final timeout from the 32. Our 32, 9 to 10 is a play. Here we go. There's a throw. And that's a nobody except for, that's a nobody except for a dose. Send it, send it down in ten. Broncos beat the Cowboys 42 to 7. And there's a throw. It's caught, and he's down to the 22. Is it a first down? It is a first down. But they hurry it up. Seven second run up. But time has run out. Saints win. And you do it at the dub as we move as uh, we move the eight and out, and the Falcons move the two and six. So yeah, the uh, the Saints move the eight and out, and the Falcons fall the two and six. Let's do it. As after we had a higher, yeah, we we did we had a, we averaged ten yards per play at 59 rushing yards, 248 passing yards. Uh, yeah, first half of obviously 17 game season now, but the eight games are eight and out. As we move the eight and out, or as the Saints move the eight and out, and the Falcons fall the two and six. We're really good. Fountains are really bad. It seems worse though at the Colts who are one and eight, so that's good. And let's say the Fountain next week are taking down the Cowboys, which should be a win. You would think, but you never know. As Herbert at two hundred two yards, no touchdowns, and a seventy five percent completion percentage. Uh, Mahomes two hundred forty eight yards, three touchdowns, uh eighty two point three percent completion percentage, three touchdowns, which what what? It was, uh, Grant. It was, uh, so it looked like the one that most there was a forward pass. Uh, so it was a pass and touchdown for Mahomes. So three pass and touchdowns. First one was to Grant. The second one was to Moster. And the third one was to, uh, Antonio Brown. And Moster had 12 carries, 57 yards. Julio Jones, six receptions, 134 yards. Antonio Brown, four receptions, 82 yards. That's at least what it says right there, Bob. So you should get all of the stats. Keep reading for Mahomes, 130, 130, or 133.8. Herbert, 64.9, which is not good. But Russian, uh, you should at one for two. Obviously, that one rush. Um, and then receiving, Julio Jones sits for 134. Uh, Julio Jones sits for 134. No touchdowns, though. Antonio Brown, four for 82 and touchdown. Gronkowski Street. Gronkowski, 3 for 29 and a touchdown, and then most are 1 for 3 with a touchdown. So I'm not sure what T.Y. T- Hilton is. He is one of our receivers. He might be injured, maybe, or he wasn't, but he was never in any of these plays for some reason, or he was, and the plays he was in, I never threw it to him. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, and that's episode of Series Let Us will be the Saints Week 13 game against the Cowboys at home, and it's on Thursday Night Football. It's not a good game. Obviously, they don't have Prescott or anything. Uh, or Elliot or some or C D Lamb, but um they're still I think what they said they're three and four or whatever, so not bad. Uh, like I said, we move to eight and oh and the Falcons follow two and six. As like I said that's up so the series will be the Saints week thirteen game against the Cowboys at home and it's on Thursday night football. It's not a good game, hopefully. I'm not sure the Cowboys I'm not sure if any I'm not sure if I'm not I'm, I don't actually don't know who's who even I don't even know one player that's on the Cowboys in this game. I'm saying really if I know that that, that Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott, uh, C.D. Lamb, but in this game is a Spanish draft franchise. I'm not sure of a single player on the Cowboys. So um, yeah, but you know, obviously uh, I could well you guys will find out in uh, this episode, which hopefully will be sooner than later. But who knows? Because obviously I'm in school, so school's number one. 
Uh, I played basketball, which season hasn't started yet, but it starts, I think, I got an email from my coach. It starts uh, the week of November 8th, which is not next week, but the next week. So, uh, for now, he's going to have practice Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. So, there won't be that many videos. So, most likely, it's starting. That's only because I think we start the November 8th for basketball and our first day November 22nd, which is two weeks after we start. That's why we have four practices a week. And then eventually, we should go out. Should only go down to three times a week, which is Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. But right now, it's Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. At least that's what initially it will be. That's what he said in an email he sent out. Or he sent my dad, and then he forwarded, my dad forwarded it. Forwarded it. Forwarded it. Or forward. 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 Me, or the coach sent the email to all the parents and all that stuff. And then my dad sent that email. Forward, forwarded that, that email to me. Uh, we also, we also, this is actually pretty cool, and maybe I'll have, like, you know, like, my mom or dad comes, which I'm sad have one of them come. This is something that made me the film on my Vinny J channel, which you haven't seen it yet, but, you know, I'm in the style of temporary corner. I don't want to waste too much of your time, time now. I do have to kind of hurry up. No, I don't have to hurry up, but I do have about three hours, which is, yeah, three hours, but I still have stuff to edit this video, post it, and have this camera charged, and all good stuff. I'm going to attend the Star game tonight, which I'll be filming it. Um, part of the day, also not the entire day or anything like that. Um, on my Vinny J channel, which is my vlog channel, which is my other channel, I guess it will be an Einstein and Tepper and Corner right up here, along with the last episode of this, along with the last episode of this series. Uh, this is a, obviously I'll be filming the Stars game tonight, so stay tuned for that vlog, it should be done up tomorrow. But also, I uh, think January 28th, if I remember right, I think, if I remember right, uh, if I remember right, I gotta look at the calendar here real quick. Yeah, it's, yeah. Jan, uh, January 28th, we're playing at AT&T Center, which is home of the San Antonio Spurs. Yes, we're playing a game uh, at the AT&T Center, home of the San Antonio Spurs. So, I mean, uh, I think someone said uh, that their husband did that in high school. Well, not at AT&T Center, but they play like at an NBA arena or whatever. It might have been AT&T Center, I'm not sure. But either way, they said that that's one of his top memories in his life. And it probably will be because you're playing at NBA Stadium. Obviously, it won't be in front of like 30,000 fans, but it'll be in front of obviously some fans. It's like no, it's not like there's no fans. There, there will be fans, but it won't, won't be like a the entire arena won't be filled for our game. It will be for the NBA game. You can also stay after our game, which I'm not sure when it is. It still says TBD on the schedule. We know or what time it is. We know who we're playing and when it is, obviously, and where it is. We don't know what time it is. Um. Um. Yeah, so we have a, we, we, you you are able to stay for the Spurs game, which is at 7.30. I'm not sure what our game is. I'm not sure what time it is, but it said in the email, another email that uh, someone else, someone said out, someone that's like, I think like a team mom maybe or something uh, sent out um, that they obviously are playing at AT&T Center and that after the game you will be able to stay for the Spurs and Bulls game, which is at 7:30. So our game, then it's just it's just for the varsity boys. But there's also varsity girls, middle school boys, middle school girls. Just that day at AT&T Center, just for the varsity boys. So I'm thinking that day, our day is probably maybe at like four. Well, maybe not four, because obviously there's still warm ups for the day at 7:30. So maybe like I would say our day will probably be at maybe like two o'clock, maybe. And then it'll be over by three. I would say our day probably is at two o'clock or something like that. But obviously. Like I said, it's still says TBD of what time, the time for that day, and it's still TBD, that's what it says in the schedule, obviously we'll know the time when it gets closer, but obviously that's still, what, like, three months, well, seven or three, well, just about three months, three months away, and I've said that's something that I might, usually I don't, fil I did film some of my games, like, three years ago, you go back on my Vinny J channel, but that, and usually not, and now I don't, I haven't done it in, like, the last, like, two years, or, or, or well, last two seasons, uh, but I might have my mom or dad, whoever comes with me, or but they both come. I don't know. Um, the the law well, that game just because it's at AT&T Center, which is the NBA stadium, and I'm playing a, on an NBA court because it's not at some special court. It's actually that court where the the where they actually play the game. And obviously, they'll be playing that game that night. And like I said, you you will be able to stay, or I will be able to stay. All the players will be able to stay, and the coaches and all that stuff for the game, which I. Well, because I obviously haven't been to an NBA game ever, but, like, I'm definitely not going to stay. There's no point of doing that. I mean, it's not like you have to stay, but you could stay. That's what I said in the email. So, I've said that I play it by year, but it's still three months away. But that's something I might vlog and all that good stuff. 
or not me, to help me plan, but, but, uh, I might ask my parents to vlog some of the game, and maybe when I play, assuming that I did the play, it was obviously not guaranteed play in time, but I should did hopefully some play in time. But that's some last year, but I, I, did, I wasn't a starter or anything. I got some play in time last year, though. Hopefully this year, I would able more because some of the player, some some of the players last year were seniors and they graduated. So hope I get some play in time this year. And yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Oh, that's something else important. If you accept the like button, subscribe if you haven't. Tell your mom, dad, grandma, your parents, don't spread defense about these videos. And yeah, I'm gonna see you in episode number four of this new one on Saints Man 22 Fast Drive Franchise Series. See you in episode number four. I need all that bait in and go Saints.